Hi guys, it's Cassie once again, and I know I've been kind of quiet, school kind of took over my life, and I kind of had to wrap it up, even though I didn't do the best of job. So much has been stirring on my heart. Christmas has got me riled up. Month of maturity, which is what November was called, caused so many things to happen. Now I'm in month of relationship, learning how to build relationships, having relationships I never thought I would have, like with my family and with friends. And God has so blessed me, guys. And if I ever thought that going through recovery would lead me here, I would have done it years ago. But as you all know, it takes time, energy, and effort. So in this video today, I am fighting for you, and I'm going to help you be able to fight for your recovery. You know, guys, even if there's a struggle, even if there's a hard moment, God is always with us, and God loves us so much, and we don't have to be afraid, and we don't have to be worried, but we stop and think, how do we not be afraid? How do we not be worried? Everything around us is crumbling. Great God is good, but how does that help us? How does that turn into a day-to-day -day reality? And the simple answer that God has given me over three years is that, yeah, Everything does crumble around us. Everything does hit the ground. But what remains is God, really. In the end, he's the one you're still yelling at. In the end, he's the one that you're still mad at. And how can you be mad at something if they're not there? So for me, it's like, yeah, I'm pissed at God. And yeah, I'm mad that, you know, my life is in shambles. But then I have to realize, well, God's still there. God is still someone that I'm mad at, which means he hasn't left me. Through all my yelling, through all my fits, through all my pain, he's been there for me. And it's like, oh, that's how I trust. That's how I live and fight day after day after day. Is knowing that if I scream at him, if I yell at him, if I throw something at him, he's still going to be there for me. And it's through that relationship with God, knowing that I have someone to be mad at every single day that's going to love me unconditionally, has brought me to this place of healing. No one doesn't care about what I look like, what I sound like, what I do, my weird hobbies or habits. Like He's still there for me and he's still fighting for me. God is that parent that you dream your parents would be. He provides love and correction and discipline. He provides love and comfort. And so this Christmas season, since I am so big into birthdays, since I'm so big into celebrations, it's like it's Jesus' birthday month and it's caused me just to become a total wreck because I'm realizing like Jesus really is everything that I need beyond money and friends and like, at the heart of it. Jesus is the one that's going to carry me through the recovery. So guys, you can do it. You can so do it. I know you can do it. And... I pray that it doesn't take you three years to get to my spot. I pray it happens in six months. I pray it happens in three months. I pray that it happens so much faster for you. Because this part of recovery is like honey. It's like this is what we all dream of when we're laying in our beds at night. Cutting, planning suicide. This is the place that we want to be. And you can be there too. If I can get to this place somehow through everything, you guys can so get to this place. Snow is such a special place in my heart. I love that I'm able to share with you guys and fight with you guys and call you higher because life is so worth living for. So tomorrow's Christmas Eve. What do we do if we're triggered? What do we do if we hit our family? What do we do if we have a meal and it's like, anxiety? Honestly, take a moment for yourself. 
take a second and sit by the Christmas tree and start seeing everything that you're thankful for. Start talking to Jesus. Start reaching out. Start being like, why is it good to be here? Why am I happy that I'm here? And when you start to focus on the good, all the negative starts to fade. So, yeah, maybe I'm stressed today. But tomorrow's Christmas Eve. And tonight's work. And I love work. And I get to see, you know, friends tomorrow at church. And so then all that stress just starts to melt away. You guys will have an amazing Christmas. And I'm going to post an amazing midweek energy tomorrow. So stay strong, guys. I know without a shadow of a doubt that you can do it.